everybody, welcome back to Angie's Pantry. Today, we're gonna to be doing a review on this awesome Broad and Tyler folding proofer and slow cooker. I seen this in, just by chance on, um, when I was researching recipes, and I'm like, it's a folding proofer? Gotta get it. So we checked around for best prices, ended up getting it on Amazon. Um, right now I'm going to try the yogurt part because you can do bread, yogurt, and slow cook in it, it says. The problem I'm having, I tried, checked out videos on it. There's not very many videos on this product. So you'll be seeing some videos on it because we're going to work on this together and see how this works. It's really cool. I'm going to turn you around and show you how to, how it folds down into nothing. Um, right now I'm calibrating with the temperature because what it's reading at the bottom is not registering right with the temperature of the outside, real, real temperature. Which in the reviews they said that it runs like five degrees higher. So mm, we're checking that out. So let me bring you in closer anyways and show you how it folds down and what it looks like. So I did buy it does come with one rack. We brought an extra rack with hooks on the sides very easily. So let's show you what it comes with first and then we'll go from there. So the lid detach, real easy. And then let me get my temperature thing out. So it folds down like so. You put your tray in there and you would there's little clips that you can clip it on and set it on to set it up like that. Then you would put your tray in there with water for proofing. Then you put your rack in and you set your lid on. And then over on this side has your temperature gauge, which you still can't see. There we go temperature gauge of either slow cooking or proofing. So when you're doing yogurt, you set it at proofing. So I got it at 86 degrees right now. So let's show you the, I'm gonna put this down here for a minute. So to set your clips on, you slide them on like so. And then your extra rack that you get has the stands on it but you can slide that in and that becomes your double racks like so. All right. So now we're gonna, we don't need that. So we're just gonna take that part out because I'm gonna try the yogurt part. because I'm trying to get it down to where I need it at um, 115 degrees. I don't know if that's really going to work. I'm trying to find my oven uh, temp gauge to see how it is. So while I'm in the search for that, we'll come back when I can get this at um, 115 degrees so that I can do my yogurt in it. Okay, I stuck my yogurt in, and they said to keep it out from around the middle, so I did. And I put the lid on. It's hard to get it to where it lays flat, being honest. Let's get there. We go. Got it laid flat. That's what it looks like inside. As for the temperature, bring it down. One fifteen at ninety-three. According to the booklet. Sorry, the train's going through. They said to start it at 120 for an hour. 
then drop it down to 86 and then let it go for 18 hours so my thoughts is it's got to be at 115 at least between 115 and 110 to make yogurt so this I don't know if this is going to be great for making yogurt but let's see so if you get one of these make sure you use your temperature gauge to check it out I've got to find my other oven one that would really work but I shut all the windows too that does make a difference all right I guess I'll be back in uh, they said uh, 18 I'm gonna say six to eight hours so it has set up so it did work but I had to keep it at the 92 degrees and I watched it close but yeah, they both set up nice. So it did work and actually, um, let's see, was eight hours. So keeping it at 92 for eight hours and it set up. So that was the yogurt part. So excited that it worked. New toy, I, I really like it. Um, next is gonna be poofing yeast, so. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Trying out my new Broad and Taylor Folding Proofer and Slow Cooker. Y'all have a great night. Big hugs from my pantry to yours. Bye.